Hey guys, what's up? TGI, FBF, thank God it's Flat Bill Friday. I hope you've had a great week. I sure have. It's been a great day. And I had something that stopped me dead in my tracks today. I got to share it with you. It's uh, it's real. It's as authentic as it gets. It was really pretty cool. Before that happened, though, um, I want to explain something else. So uh, I'm literally just getting in my car, coming back from a closing. I helped a young man uh, buy his first home, young 24-year-old guy. Uh, I was the exact same age when I bought my first home. So I remember kind of being in that frame of mind and all the excitement, energy, uh, anticipation, some of the nervousness about being a first-time homeowner, all that stuff. So it was really, really uh, fun to, uh, 15 years later, be able to pay it forward Um to, to somebody that was the exact same situation that I was. So that was awesome. Through that process, um, I'd actually started working with him over a year ago. And as we went and did the, did everything that we needed to do to you know kind of get started and, and start looking at some homes, we began having some conversations. And through those consultations, and I think a lot of his gut instinct, we just decided back then, hey, why don't we, why don't we table this, put this on hold? And that's what he decided to do. So a couple months ago, we, we picked it back up, and he uh, is now today uh, walking into an awesome place. And I share that story because he could have made that decision a year ago and been in a really good spot. He could have made a, a, a good decision. Um, however, because he decided to wait, was a little bit more patient, put together a little bit better of a plan, he's now in a great spot. And so I take away from this so often in life – we want stuff to happen so quickly and we want kind of the immediate result and we have the expectation for today. And a lot of times we can achieve it to a good result, but it's very hard sometimes to get to a great result. So it's why not put a little bit more time, patience, a better game plan or a more solid game plan and go from making a good decision to a great decision. And then after that, what stopped me dead in my tracks was as we were leaving, um, we're in the parking lot, I shake his hand and I thank him for the opportunity to support him. And, you know, if there's anything you need, let me know. And I shake his hand and he says, well, I appreciate it, but what can I do to help you? And I just stopped. And I'm thinking to myself, here's a 24-year-old young man just buying a house. I remember when I got the keys, I flew out of the attorney's office. I wasn't asking any questions, taking any names. And he says, what can I do for you? And it just, it filled my heart because, you know, we don't ask that question. At least I can be honest and say, I don't ask that question nearly enough. We all have jobs. We all have goals. We all have things we want to do and accomplish and hit. And sometimes just taking that time out to acknowledge the person next to you or, or the person that's actually helping you. Hey, what do you need? How can I help? Is, uh, is something that can make all the difference in the world. So those are my two things for this week. That's my encouragement for this week. Slow down and don't be afraid to make a great decision versus a good decision. And then, you know what? Slow down and think about the other person for a second and ask them, hey, how can I help you? So hope you have an awesome weekend. We'll talk to you next week.